Hello, welcome back. Today, we're looking at changing the oil on the Colchester lathe. But we don't have any Shell Telus oil, 33. No. The postman's brought this for me. The equivalent, modern equivalent. Thank you, Posty. So let's have a look at changing the oil. I'm going to hand it, I'll catch you there, to an old 5 litre drum and I need to take the lid off so look what's going on inside and I also need a 3 quarter inch spanner to take off the sump plug so let's get started <laughs> I've not had this off for 5 years at least I had it off once when I first bought the lathe just to have a nosy inside Ah, the remains of a gasket and a bit of instant gasket. Let's put that down. Oh dear. Let's have a quick look inside. All oh, very interesting. I'm now getting ready to take the sump plug off the gearbox, but you have to be very careful because I think there's two bolts underneath there. One releases the oil. And the other makes the chuck fall off. <laughs> Let's hope I get the right one. I can't tell everybody. There we go. It's right. Oh, there we go. Well, she's loose. Just after battle. Need to get this oil collector underneath. So, lovingly hand crack. Crafted, as you can see. Nail it. There she goes. There she goes. I'll just let that drain down now. Doesn't look a bad colour. The gearbox is now fully drained and I've given it a quick visual inspection and everything looks fine. No missing teeth on the induction hardened gears, which is very good news indeed. And everything seems to be working as it should. So it's now time to reseal the top and fill it back up and let's have a look of what we've got. There's a sump plug at the gearbox and it's still got a little bit of its original Colchester green on it. And now let's have a little comparison. Ding ding, round one. And in the right corner we've got the good stuff. <laughs> And in the left corner, we've got the bad stuff. Look at that. Just like clinical toffee. <laughs> I'm running out of hands here, you'll have to excuse me one moment. Oh dear. There doesn't seem to be any bits of gold in it or anything like that. So that's not too bad. The 
There's definitely a difference, isn't there? I wonder why it goes so dark. Anyways, let's get the top back up. There's nothing else left to do now, apart from top up the gearbox. And I've measured out 500 millilitres. I do have a litre, but I don't know how it's going to go. So there's nothing else left to do. To top it up with a steady hand. I think there's a little bit of patience needed. So, oh dear. Times like this, you wish you bought that funnel off the car boot sale for 50p, but I didn't. Let's have a quick look at the sight glass now, see what it's saying. There you go, she's all topped up to the right level. Interestingly, I only used 300 millilitres of oil, so I've still got plenty left. And that's quite a surprise because I thought I'd use the full litre, but it turns out if you buy a litre of the oil, you get enough for two goes. So there you go, that's a Colchester lathe. Gearbox all change and I've got away quite lightly tonight, quite clean, so thanks for viewing, I'll come back again. Duh.